hello everyone and namaste welcome to our channel learning pocket once again and to this fantastic web project tutorial prerequisites are not much for this project uh, you just need to know basics of css html and javascript you don't even need to know oops in javascript just the basic javascript so what we are going to do we are going to make a copy of a website called patatab.com if you don't know about patatab.com you can just google it out just search on web patatab.com and this website will show up in the front or you can directly go to the website through the links given in the description every single website that i'm going to use in for this tutorial or every single link that i'm going to use for this tutorial will be available in the description down below and including the code of the project okay so what is in pathadab.com as soon as you hit enter to this uh, as soon as you enter this website this website says press any any key a to z or space bar and turn up your speaker so you need to turn up your speakers to know what this website is all about as soon as you hit any key you can see in here as soon as i hit any key uh, associative or animation and a sound effect occurs and if i'm going to hit multiple keys at a time at a time that creates a very beautiful effect and this website is uh, quite addictive you can waste a decent amount of time on this but what we are going to do we are just not going to exactly make this website but we are going to make an approximate copy of this or the basic uh, or you can say the basic aim of this video or this project is to provide you the basic toolkit what will be required to make an exact copy of this website we are going to make this particular thing this looks like this there are random shapes uh, appearing and there is a sound effect with each and every a key and there is associative colors there are different colors different shapes and but i can guarantee you that after making this mini version of added app you would be having all the toolkits that are required to make the exact copy of this website and you can extend your project and you can make an exact copy of this website and that will look fabulous on your cv or resumes so without wasting any time let's get started Before typing down the code of the project that we are going to make, uh, first of all, we need to know, you need to know guys, what sort of technologies are used in this particular project. So the main component that is used for the animation purposes in the petadab.com is, or our copy of petadab.com is paper.js. So you can Google it out or the link will be in the description itself. You can check that directly also so click on the very first link that says paper.js.org and you can see in here they have a very lovely uh, animation at their very home page only and then you see a menu here and that says about features examples and showcase so let's go for the examples first so this is the scope of the paper.js what all projects have been made you can check those out i personally like this project and you can see in here it has a very smooth texture it is it is there is something about this project i can spend a lot of time it is so relaxing guys and you can also check this out or we can also see some more projects and here we have mona lisa's in three different ways and i guess this is also a good animation you can see in here tadpole selling how as soon as you can click on the screen you can see they uh, just forms a heart in front of you as you as you click once more they just go randomly on so this is the scope or you can say this is the things or few projects that paper do, or that you can check on paper.js that are made using paper.js so now let's jump to the tutorial so they have a very good uh, decent documentation that you can go through if you want to learn paper.js in detail and we are going to 
learn from this tutorial only and we are going to see things from the tutorial and then implement that on our project and that's what web developer do and they have there are many different libraries out there that you can use for animation or but for particularly for our project we are going for paper.js so let's let me show you how you can check this tutorial or how you can go through that tutorial so let's uh, click on the working with the paper.js so paper.js unlike javascript we do not uh, specify our javascript file instead of that we write paper script we don't write javascript we write paper script so you can see in here in documentation they have uh, given us a code that how you can write all of their animation is configured on canvas okay so canvas is an html tag you can see in here canvas and then you need to give an id of that canvas and then you need to specify your uh, paper script that i am going to animate i want you to animate show animation of this particular canvas whose id is whatever you will mention okay so just like you can see in here we here is an uh, link tag that how we link uh, generally a javascript file uh, and you can see in here while linking our paper script or a script of using paper.js we need to specify type as text slash paper script okay so no need to worry i'm going to walk you all through all this uh, while writing the code i'm just giving you just overview of paper.js and this is uh, a very decent amount of documentation you can go through that you can explore this website as much as you can let's get started by opening up vs code now so i have opened a new directory called shapes dot shapes animation and i have uh, created a new file uh, with the name html file with the name of index.html and i have paper.js opened in the separate window and i also have opened the live server which will reflect me the life changes whatever the changes i will make it in this file and if you also want to use live server you just need to go to the extension just search live server the very first link then install it and enable it after that you, there will be an option uh, i have already uh, opened it therefore it is showing that it is opened at 45500 and you can even right click and click on open live server it will automatically open the live server in your default browsers okay so let's go through the paper.js documentation and uh, we are going with the tutorial and getting started working with paper.js okay so we are just simply copying this very first thing that uh, have, will help us to configure a paper.js and just removing the comments for now okay so very first links uh, or the very first script link is for paper.js or you can say the very first link will include the paper.js library in our project so for that you can even download it here is a download option you can download the latest version or what i am going to do is i am just what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for the CDN of paper.js and you can see here very first link and I'm just going to copy it. The link of the CDN is also available in the description and I'm just going to replace the source with that particular uh, CDN. If you're not going with the CDN, uh, you just need to download the file and put it in under the directory that you are working in and then replace the src with an appropriate address of that particular uh, paper script file or you can say paper.js file okay and now let's save and see what are the changes that will be reflected in our live server and you can see here there is a line over here and where this line is coming from so let's see what's the code is written under the paper script so here we have a variable declared path with the function sort of thing that is new path and then we are giving a stroke color of black and it is very understandable it gives the stroke color or the color of the stroke that you saw right now and var start 
is declaring a point and no path some, something is going on here and we are getting this line so what is all going on here let's see and uh, before that just let let me just inspect the window for you and what we have are having in the html side okay so we are having a canvas over here so you saw our project and we have canvas all all, all through so what i am going to do right now i am just going to stretch the canvas for now for that i am going to include css file for that i am going for link css style.css and now i'm going to create style.css style dot css and what i'm going to do first i'm going to remove all the padding and margin of the body and the html so margin is uh, zero and padding is also zero and i'm also going to uh, give an height of 100 percent else else what will happen the, the height will be of 300 pixels only okay if i'm not going to give the height of 100 percent after that what i'm going to do i'm going to give my canvas my canvas and height and width of 100 percent here goes our height now it's turn of width the blue eye width and there is 100 percent and let's see what we have so we are having a canvas spanning all around our window now and let's change the background color to black the background color uh, black and now our, we are not able to see the line that we were, were uh, noticing before this is because the color of the line is also black let me let me make it white and it should work i guess and you now we see it okay so you must be noticing why we are having um, the paper script or whatever the script is written on the paper script as white only not the colorful text that you see in the rest of the documentation or rest of the work this is because paper script is not generally supported and that is why we are not able to see the text of so colorful uh, text over there okay but that won't be an issue it will make debugging hard of which is a very obvious thing so let's go through the tutorial and what we are interesting in is geometry because you see in here we are displaying different shapes so we need to look through the geometry part or your it was geometry part so geometry parts has a points size and rectangles you can go through it and what we are going to do we are going to first read the documentation of project and items so in the project item working with items we are going to work with item you see the very first code in here and this code is just generating or making a circle so var path and the path is defined by new path dot circle and then there we have new point and 35 uh, i don't know what they what it is uh, i shall read the documentation for the circles in the documentation says that path under path it should be there certain predefined shapes and under that we have this new path circles center comma radius so what this statement is doing this statement is generating a new circle and what all inputs we are going to give we need to give a point where it will be the center and a radius and let me uh, tell you that the uh, the coordinate system says that 0 comma 0 stays here at the top left corner if the span of the window is 500 into 500 then we have 500 comma 500 at the bottom right corner and how we can define the center we need to define a point so how we declare a point again we need to read it out for that i will go through geometry and point size and rectangles under point section you can see the point object describes two dimensional location it has two properties x and y very similar to the coordinate systems 
and respectively x and y coordinate location let me show you something uh, under path and working with path items and you can see in here the same sort of line that we have in the document and you can see here we have uh, declared a new path by default the path is declared is a line and there, then we have points and this is the starting point and dot add is going is helping us to add a point and if i'm going to add one more point i'm just copying and pasting the statement and let it let the point to be uh 150 and 40 i guess and run you can see here all the three points are connected oh 0 comma 0 100 comma 50 and 150 comma 40 if i'm going to add more points all those points are going to get add up and we will be having the crazy line or whatever the sort of line you want and we also can change the color let's copy this in here or even change this the here i did not notice that bit to pink and let's see if it is it exists yes it changes the color to pink if i'm going to change the shapes i can also go for the shapes and you can see in here we have different shapes in here here what he is doing or the documentation is saying us to do for forming a rectangle we need four points so we are just uh, defining those four points and we are just closing the path if we are going not going to close the path uh, let's see what will happen let it be false and what will happen that they will be connecting four points but they will uh, close it okay so that is why it is true in here so this is all about the brief introduction so how things are going to work in here okay so now let's jump to the project items and the working with items and let's go with the circle only let's copy this line and also this one also and just remove all the things that we are here seeing here and just paste it okay and just save it and let's see what we have we have a circle over here okay so the circle is in the position of 80 comma 50 we can change this to uh, maybe uh, 500 into 500 and we see the circle in here if we are going to change the radius let the radius be uh, 100 pixels and the circle is bigger now and we can also change the color to blue or whatever the color we want so color has been changed to blue so you can see here project dot activate layer dot child last child dot fill color you no need to do this thing you just need to write path dot fill color and this will fill the color okay what is path path is here the variable which is storing the circle we can even store more circles uh, let me copy this and paste it and let it be path 1 and path 2 and here we have path 1 and let's do the same for the path 2 okay path 2 will be having the color of red okay and the radius and the things will be on 400 comma 400 radius will be same let's see what we are having we are having one more circle and path 2 is above path 1 because path 2 was declared after path 1 so path 1's 1 was firstly displayed or first it was placed and over that or above that path 2 was placed that is why path 1 or the red circle is overlaying the blue circle so now we know how we can generate circles and we will work with circles first and then we will generate some random shapes and that will be displayed just like we have in here okay